Hey y'all and welcome back to RV Cooking Yet. My name is Libby Stewart and today we are beginning a week-long series of just salads. So every day this week we will make a different kind of salad. Today we're going to make grape salad. So I start with uh, just some seedless grapes and uh, I'm going to cut them in half actually so that they'll, they'll kind of look like that. Uh, we're going to add a few ingredients to it and we're going to come out with a delicious grape salad. So stay tuned. All right, so we have cut up all our grapes um, and I'm just cutting them in half. So if you can see that, um, just they're just cut in halves. Um, and so I have um, about a cup and a half of, of grape halves there. And it just depends on how many you're making grape salad for. This is just for, for me and Mike. And so, you know, we don't need a whole lot of it. Uh, I just got home from a wonderful retreat um, over on the Swanee River. And um, I haven't had time to go to the grocery store this morning. So um, when I pulled my sour cream out of the refrigerator, lo and behold, there's only just a little tiny bit, not quite enough that we're gonna need for this recipe. So I'm gonna substitute with some cream cheese. So we're gonna just take this cream cheese and pop it into this bowl. To it, we'll add our sour cream. Grab some disturbing. And this is how we're going to make the dressing for the salad. Kind of make that smooth. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. You just don't want like great big huge clumps of cream cheese. You can avoid it. We're actually going to let it sit for just a little while. Um, once we, we're going to add some brown sugar to it, and then we're going to let it sit and let the brown sugar dissolve in that. So. big heaping teaspoons, which is probably, I don't know, probably a half a cup, maybe, maybe a little bit more than half a cup of brown sugar in there. And we're going to get it stirred in there really good. This spoon is too big for my cup, so I'll use this little one here. Get it stirred in there really good. set it aside and let it let it kind of marry now I also sometimes will um, which we'll do this at the end but sometimes I will add cool whip or some kind of whipped cream uh, to to this dressing so that it makes it a little fluffier um, and we'll, we'll do that at the end because you don't you don't have to actually add it in at this stage you can add it in a little later So we need to just set this aside, let that sugar get dissolved. It'll just take a few minutes. Now I'm gonna, um, you could add any kind of nuts to this. If you don't like nuts, you don't have to, but um, a lot of people will add walnuts. Uh, we especially love pecans in this house. So um, I had some chopped pecans from something I made the other day. And so those are going into our grape salad. And we'll be right back as soon as, as soon as that dressing gets uh, ready. We'll be right back and we'll finish up this salad. Quick, easy, and delicious. All right, our salad dressing has had time to kind of marinate and all the sugar has dissolved in there. And you'll notice that as the sugar dissolved, the um, 
the salad dressing got more more liquidy so it's a it's a little easier to pour over the salad so and we also have our grapes already sliced in half and we've added chopped nuts to it we, we added chopped pecans but you can add whatever you want and um, we have our cool whip ready and so let's go ahead let's make this thing we're just gonna pour this dressing over it Now again, this isn't one of those recipes where there are exact measurements. You'll find that I don't really use exact measurements on anything. I will post the ingredients um, in comments below the video and I'll try to get you, you know, somewhat of an exact measurement, but you just have to bear with me. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of Cool Whip to this cause I want it to be a little fluffy. I say Cool Whip, but it's, it's whip topping. It's actually not Cool Whip. Do y'all do that? See in the South, all sodas are Cokes. And whip topping is always Cool Whip, um, even though it's not Cool Whip. It's great value. So, All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna begin to just kind of fold that salad dressing in. And this is one of those salads that's even better if you let it sit for a little bit in the refrigerator. Just kind of kind of get all that, mm, that yumminess in together. I have used other fruits in this salad as well. Um, I've used fresh chopped pineapple. I have used peaches, fresh peaches. Um, what else have I used? I think that's probably, probably it as far as other types of fruits that I've used in this, but be creative. You can you can use what you like and use what you have on hand. All right, there you go. A nice summertime salad, fruit salad, can be used as a side dish or it can be used as a dessert. So next time you gotta grab something quick for um, a covered dish or, or, you know, you just need something quick and easy, Great salad. There you go. Tune in tomorrow and we'll make a different salad. See you later.